We all love budget guns, you know, UMPs, PP19s and so on, but today I got something better. At this stage of the wipe, every chat is using a gun that costs over 100k and then spends another 200k on top of it to make it so-called meta. Myself included, of course. Today I'm going to show you a build that can challenge every single one of these gamers while saving you a good chunk of cash. Before I jump into the video, I want to thank you guys for all the support on the previous videos. Thanks to you, I have been able to monetize my channel, and this allows you to become a member of the channel. If that is something you wish to do, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and let me know what you think of the build. All right, my friends, here it is in all its glory. It's a Scar L. It's the 5.56 version of the Scar. It's probably one of the most underused guns in Tarkov, I would have to say, at least me personally. I, I think I've played it like two or three times before today. I was looking into gun builds and how to make them cheap and so on so let me show you a couple things to look out for when you're buying this and then i'm going to show you the actual build and a little variations to it as well okay so we are on the flea market right now so as you can see there are a ton of these guns up on flea the 556 cars so what you are looking for specifically is the 18 inch barrel so it would be this one as you can see it has the 18 inch barrel uh do not buy the ones with the 10 inches even though there doesn't seem to be that big of a difference, every time there is a 10-inch Scarl on the market, it it seems like the durability is pretty bad. You know, I don't want to see my guns around 80 durability. Plus, you do get a better recoil from the 18-inch barrel, so that's definitely something to look out for. So my main tips is, if this gun is around 60 to 65,000, it's a perfect time to buy it. Pretty much is always around 60k. So make sure you buy the 18 inch barrel version and make sure you always get the highest uh, durability possible. There's so many of these 400 durability as you can see for 60 to 66,000 and so on. So let me show you the actual mods that I put on this as well. So here we are my friends, uh, this is the full build. First thing I'm gonna add is the AFG black uh, hand grip, the foregrip. Obviously, you don't have to use the black one, like you can use whatever one you want, but obviously the black one goes with the overall theme of the gun. Uh, I personally, I do change the mag on it, but you do not have to. You can use the, the default, I think it's this one. This is the default one, it works out just, just as good, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But I do prefer my Gen M3 on every uh, 5.56 gun I do use, so that's another one of those points where you can save extra money. Next thing is the tactical device. I do use the X400 on this. Once again, this is personal preference. You can't even go without it, but I just do like a uh, tactical device on my gun. You know, flashlight, it does help you in fights. Next up is the muzzle device. I'm gonna use the 223 CB, and then on top of that, we're gonna use the Ultra 5 suppressor. We're gonna talk about the suppressor in a little bit. And uh, for the sight, I do like the UTG. It's around 15K. You can use an MRS, for example, or you can even put a bigger sight on this if you wish. At the end of the day, I would say if you have something laying around in your stash, I would say just drop that on top of it. You gotta use it someday anyway, so why not on this build? If you have an extra holo or PK120 or whatever, if you have something laying around, just chuck it on top and you'll save an extra few rubles here. So let me show you what I do for the suppressor. So when you go on flea market and you look for the ultra 5 sound suppressor you can see that it doesn't actually sell it's not actually sold by traders the way around that obviously is we're gonna have to either buy it from the flea market which is right now it's 53,000. i've seen it go to 60 70k depends on the time of day or your second option is just barter for it so as you can see skier level i think it's skier level 3 that barters this let me double check yep skier level 3 for one cap, the boss cap, and uh, two leather caps. So, usually these are like 10, 12k. Right now, since it's early morning, it's like 6 a.m. These thing, these items are super pricey. This one included. So right now, if I would, if I was to do this barter, it would cost me around 52k. So, just check the prices. You might be able to save a couple of rubles here. Obviously, if you don't have the skier level 3, you're going to have to do this anyway. So make sure you catch the these items on a lower price points. So for the boss cap, I would say 10 to 15. And then the cap caps, I'd say around 12 is, uh, is okay. So as long as you their whole total is uh, 
under 40k i'd say uh, you're you're doing good so that's the build i'm gonna drop you guys into the raid i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you wouldn't mind drop a like drop a sub if you haven't subbed i would appreciate it greatly i hope you enjoyed the raid and let me know what you think about the build what changes you would make and i'll see you guys in the next one take care Got a bit of rain. Because it is it is escape from Tarkov after all. What's life like without a little bit of rain? I think we just hit dorms. Hopefully get some PvP there. Bastard! Come to Papa. That was such a bad peek. Whew. Man, I love this gun. Yeah, I didn't expect Rashala here. I'm, plus, I've never seen him wear a cow. What? <laughs> what is going on? They're bugged again. For some reason, Rashala and his boys are bugged. <laughs> they just don't move for s some weird reason. Is he not dead? You bastard. Bro literally tanked so many shots. I mean, I probably could, could have placed them a little better, of course. But. We have the vehicular extraction, so that's nice. GG's. A three man solo. Rashala and his boys. Obviously, Rashala and his boys were bugged.